Now we're going to look at a piece of software that has been very successful in recent years. That's RM Maths. RM Maths is an individual learning program that a pupil works on in short bursts regularly throughout the week. And it's backed up by a very powerful management program that moves the pupil through at his level of progress, taking into account his level of confidence and working on individual problems with him. So that it remediates the problems and then flags them up into a report sent back through for the teacher to read. We know it's been successful because an independent study done by Lancaster University showed that 11% more pupils achieved level 2 SATs in Key Stage 1 when they used RM Maths. It has visual and auditory stimulation so that a pupil's literacy level, level doesn't matter um, in the use of RM Maths. We're going to have a look at the RM Maths Teachers Programme. As you can see, the class is down on the left-hand side and along the top are tabs which allow you to drill into the many reports that this powerful programme gives for teachers. But I'd like to show you first an activity as a pupil sees it. So we're going in to go into the Skills tab. We're going to look at Number Abstraction and we're going to go down to F5. Guessing how many elements are in a group with more than and fewer than clues that are two numbers apart up to ten. I'm going to run that skill to show you an activity exactly as a pupil would see it in the program. Can you work out how many balloons Scuba can see through the window? She can see more than five and fewer than seven. How many balloons? And if the pupils to get the answer right, then the program would give them some praise and move them on to a different topic. So let's see what happens if she gets an answer wrong. That isn't correct. Click to have another go. So we can see that the program has told the pupil that she's got the answer wrong and asked her to have another try. Now let's see what happens if she gets it wrong a second time. She can see more than five and fewer than seven. How many balloons? That's not correct. She can see more than five and fewer than seven. You chose the number seven. Which number is more than five and less than seven? So we can see that the second time the pupil gets the answer wrong, the program gives a lot more help and the third time it will actually tell the pupil the answer, but then it will flag it up as a prog problem in one of the reports. So let's come out of there now, and let's give you an example of one of the many activities that are in RM Maths. So let's now have a look at one of the reports for teachers. If we go into the Numeracy tab, and we go into Year 1, and that's the class that you can see down there on the left, the objective is to count reliably at least 20 objects. And we can see that there are five RM math skills that back up that objective. And if we look at show graph, we can achieve a graph showing exactly how these pupils are progressing against that objective. You can do this for individual pupils as well, but in this case, if we scroll down, we could see the whole class. What we can see here is that Alanya at the top has mastered the first two skills but has not reached the skills 3, 4 and 5. But if we look down to Julia, we can see that Julia has mastered the first three skills, 1, 2 and 3, but she has a problem with skill 4 and skill 5. So the teacher can see from this exactly the problem at any one time that any one of these pupils is having. So she can take that pupil aside, or pupils, if more than one of them have a problem in the same skill, and work with them individually on that particular problem. And if she wants to, and she wants to click run, she could bring up an activity that's backing up that particular skill. So RM Maths is a proven success story. It can motivate and enthuse pupils, and it provides valuable reports on pupils' progress for teachers. And don't forget, it's ELC eligible. Thank you.